Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. What a beautiful game. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, start our profile and let me just check a few things quickly because I'm poss pretty sure. Yeah, because I started a new profile, I actually have some outfits that I can unlock for my me characters. Uh, just a few, I believe. I don't have that many amiibos, if you couldn't tell. It's just the three. But yeah, there's like, um, these are all the costumes that you can possibly get for your me characters in this game. Starting off strong with Mario, I guess. And next up, we have Splatoon with an inkling. And then Link with my my Link's Awakening amiibo. But there we go. Just gonna unlock those now, just so I can have them if I want them ever. And now let's actually get started with single player in the Grand Prix. So, in this version, in this game, we have 50cc, 100cc, 150cc, mirror 150cc, and then we have 200cc. And all of them are unopened to us straight away, so you can, you can do whatever you want, basically. But we're gonna try and go through all of them and get probably gold three stars on all of them, which is gonna take a while. Unless I play really well, but then it's Mario Kart. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna get Mario Karted by something. Let's get started, and I'm probably gonna try using the default cart for every single cup. There's a lot of different customizations you can do to get different, um, different speeds and all that. Uh, you can also press plus or minus here to actually see the, the, the stats. Uh, while we're here, we can also turn off uh, the auto steering, which is basically a... Uh, if you're going into a wall or off the edge of the track, it will push you back onto it. It doesn't actually steer you, like, good, well. It just makes sure you stay on the track. We can also um, change uh, the, the steering mode by pressing Y from motion controls to uh, control stick, which I want to stick with the control stick, so let's keep that. And we also have, press R for uh, automatic go. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Automatic acceleration or something. But that just means that we can turn that on to have us just go without having to press down the go button. Which, for me, that's kind of how I just play normally. But I don't, it feels wrong to have to not press down the button all the time. So anyway, that's all that for now. So let's go into the Mushroom Cup. Mario Kart Stadium. Make sure you press down the go button on the second hand going up for the final thing to get a boost as you start off. There's also coins on the track to collect now. You can collect up to 10. Whenever you get hit by something, you'll lo usually lose around three. Got a coin item that gives me some coins. I believe it's two coins. Uh, I think the coins actually make you faster if I'm not wrong. Oh my goodness, I got hit already. And yeah. We're currently anti-gravity because of going over that blue bit there. And that's the whole thing about Mario Kart 8 is anti-gravity and cool stuff like that. We can also get our drift from, I think it's blue to red to purple, which is the best one. Uh, but we're probably not going to get that much starting off. There goes my shell and my banana. That's fine. Works just like previous Mario Karts. I just love the way that this game looks as well. We've also got a glider that we get when we go off of 
certain blue ramps, I guess. I don't know how much of this needs to be actually explained, considering this game's been out forever and will be even more forever when this goes up. We've got this boom box item here, though. This is actually really good because it means you can actually destroy blue shells when they're right on top of you. Uh, and pretty much anything else that's coming towards you. So this is uh, this is good against everything, basically. Whenever you're going over a ramp or... Oh my goodness, I used it too late. Whenever you're going over a ramp, uh, press down the... Uh, ZR button to do a little trick, just like in Mario Kart Wii when you shook the controller. It's good to know. Gives you a bit of extra speed. We've also got stacked items, which is only in this version of the game, in the, the deluxe version of Mario Kart 8, which is a great addition. We've also got two item box uh, slots to fill as well, which is really just a really great improvement, just having more items, I guess. But anyway, I'm about to end this. And we are very far ahead of everyone. Not that far, but still. There we go. So, in this vote, in, in Marika 8, we have the highlight reels, which are basically... Uh, recordings of the races you've done. You can edit them to, um, depending on certain stats, like focus on Mario, focus on something else. Uh, you can also have it show only, um, the highlights of it, or just the whole race. But also, if you do a really good job of a race, you can press X on this screen to star that highlight reel so it doesn't get deleted after a while. But, you probably only want to do that for your best runs, because you've only got six, um, you can only save six highlight reels. Anyway, next race. Water Park. Here we go. The music in this game is also really good. It's just such a great game. I haven't played any competitive multiplayer that much though. Just because of not having Nintendo Switch Online. I have The only time that I've played multiplayer competitive stuff is in person, which is difficult for many reasons. I'm pretty sure people know exactly how that is over the last few years. Okay. Let's go and glide there. Okay. It's a good first lap. It's also interesting how the wheels change whenever you go into the anti-gravity mode, because they go on the ground as well. Like, they, they face- your tires face down. Oh my goodness. Also, something I should mention now, because we got a- got blue shelled. If you get hit by something, you have a small amount of time where you have invincibility frames. And there was a time when I got saved from a blue shell because I threw a green shell 15 seconds beforehand, and then it hit me just before the blue shell did, and so the blue shell didn't affect me, technically. I mean, I still got slowed down by my own green shell, but it meant that I had invincibil invincibility frames from the blue shell. Oh, that was a bad turn. Turned too far too early. It might have been good on a faster CC, but not 50 CC. 
while we're going, while I'm talking about CCs, I think if I remember correctly from who knows how many years ago when I actually did get gold three stars in every cup, um, I think it was fairly easy from, uh, it's probably about the same as Mario Kart Wii, kind of, because Mario Kart Wii was, um, 50cc and 100cc were easy and then the difficulty just ramps up for some reason after that. But I feel like it's, um, I can't actually remember what it was for this game. It might be that it's, um, easy for 100cc and 50cc, and then it probably gets harder for 150cc. But I think the, 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 the highest difficulty is going to be mirror and 200cc. I'm not, not entirely sure, but we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Sweet, sweet canyon. Just want to eat the whole thing. Just want to eat it all. Just want to eat the audience. <laughs> Just want to eat the gingerbread toads. Okay, grab that. And over here we have our first cannon, which is pretty cool. Usually cannons are just kind of uh, glider sections that automatically take you to where you need to go. Works the same way as cannons in previous games. Okay, I'm going to just drop that and might, might drop that as well. But bombs are good if you want to try and um, like hit somebody in front of you. But it's usually pretty difficult to hit somebody behind you with a bob on. You can also drop it a few seconds before something hits you. Uh, but if it if you drop it too late and it hit, something hits that bob on, it will explode the bob on and then you'll get hit by the bob on's blast. So you need to keep that in mind as well. That was a waste of a banana. Depending on if you're holding it holding forward or backward, I believe it throws the banana or drops it behind you. Yeah, like that. Anyway, let's keep going. Man, I remember playing this, like seeing this game for the first time on... Uh, well, not like in... Well, it, the first time in person, not in like in a video. This is a level that like really stuck out, I guess. <sighs> and it, this, this game is just beautiful and it always has been. Uh, but I believe the first time, oh my goodness, just thinking back years at this point to when I saw this game on Wii U before playing it in a video was, I believe, versus doing it blindfolded, I think. Man, that's a really long time ago. Anyway, uh, I think the cannons possibly also destroy items that go through through them if I'm not wrong sometimes some for some items I feel like that's a thing but I feel like that's more of a mark out we thing I mean nothing's hitting me right now so it could be which means as soon as somebody gets up the to the top of the hill I'm gonna have some problems Wow 50 cc is so slow I'm very not used to it at this point. Long drifts are good for building up speed quickly. Because while you're drifting, you also go pretty fast. Okay, one more race to go. Excuse me. Thwomp Ruins, which is a really, really cool level. It's, it's, it's Thwomps and it's Ruins, and it fits really well. Especially with those, um, those things on the side of the track there. I don't know what they're called. The fluffy things. And it works so well. But anyway, here we go. 
And if I could actually build up speed here, this would be a good shortcut. Uh, but not really right now. So let me just... I guess that kind of worked, but Rosalina's right, right behind me, so it didn't work out all that well. There's also a lot of things to dodge in this track. Because the... The forms will crush you, and there's going to be other things that will crush you later on. Which kind of don't crush you, it's more like just star on you, in a way. I almost got that extra speed from that ramp there. This is such a cool level, and the music is so good too. I feel like I'm appreciating games a lot more since playing Bowser's Fury, because I, I spent so much time like appreciating that game to the fullest. Oh my goodness. That's invincibility frame saved me. Okay, go, go, go. So we've now got these things rolling around that we need to dodge so that we don't get hit by them. But they also open up this little path in the middle here, which means we can glide across the middle. There's so many small details that make this level great. And this whole game great, really. Grab those. Oh my goodness. I forgot Mario Kart, how, how Mario Kart works. It seems to be a lot more noticeable in this CC though. Just because it's so slow that the items just... I don't know, they feel worse for some reason. But anyway, let's just go through there. Go through there. I'm not sure if it's faster to go on the wall or if it's faster to go close to the edge here. I feel like it's kind of evened out because they have the, the dash pads on the wall to make you go faster. And that's, it's so, there's so much thought in everything. I don't know what it is. I can appreciate a lot about video games when I understand how they work. Like the level design and the, everything about it basically. Go, 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 go. We're really far ahead of everything, everyone right now. So let's go. Also, lightning is an annoying item to have used against you. Because, just like in previous games, if you get struck by lightning, you go get small and you have to you go slower. And then, starting from the back, people get bigger again. So it kind of rubber bands everyone back together. But anyway, let's view your results. Man, that tire sound. So yeah, the 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 win video is a highlight of the previous races that you just went through, and then like you're getting across the finish line, and it shows you what place you had on each course. There's also not really any depressing game over screen now. It's still like you you did your best, good good try, kind of kind of energy, but. It's, it's just not as depressing as previous games, game over screens. Also, we have collected 30 coins. A new vehicle customization option has been unlocked. So there we go, we got gold three stars on the Mushroom Cup 50cc. So, instead of it being race courses and cups that unlock new cart customizations or new carts, 
Uh, it's how many coins you've collected. That gives you... Um, new, new things. So we've got the Cloud Glider now. And we're gonna need a ton of coins to unlock everything. Also, the gliders aren't that much different from each other, if I rem remember correctly. I've always found that they don't differ that much, although I don't think I've changed them that much, so. But anyway, let's go into the flower cup. Mario Circuit. Which has signs that are on the upside down part of the world. This is actually a really cool track, though. Because if you look at it, it's it's one one eight figure track, but it's double sided because it goes all the way round and connects to itself, which is just so cool. Anyway, we need to dodge these prana plants that spawn over here. Also, I believe every character has their own set of stats that you don't really see. But it, it's probably not going to matter that much overall. What's going to matter the most is what cart you choose. Okay, let's go. Dodge the Goombas. And that's the first lap. Also, I love the Mario Kart TV stuff that's just around for the highlight reels. I love a lot of the background stuff in these areas as well because you can see the mushroom houses, the toad houses just around. And like, there's blocks, the brick blocks, and just, it's so good. Okay, go, 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 go. How did the bananas know what anti-gravity is? <laughs> Maybe they're modified items and power-ups. Or something. Also, it'd be really sh sad for the toads to have to live in those toad houses. Considering they have to live in the shadow of this gigantic racetrack. Just above them. Maybe it moves or something. I don't know. There doesn't really- there's not really- any official law to any of this, so let's just keep going. Gonna drop that, I guess. I can see that blue shell on the map. Oh my goodness, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, invincibility frame saved me. Kind of? I got struck by lightning and then the blue shell and the red shell didn't do anything. Because of the lightning. Which is kind of strange. Considering the lightning is very random at when it happens. You can also dodge lightning if you've uh, if you jump off an edge, because while you're getting pulled back onto the track, you can't get hit by things. But that's very specific for something that happens randomly. Also, hello back with the the pack. Just gonna pass twelfth place. And then we go. Toad Harbor. You can also scup, skip, scup, skip these opening cutscenes. Oh my goodness, there's Peach, a set Peach statue holding a star and a fire flower. It's kind of strange coming back to a Mario Kart game at this point in time, because in the past I've done. This is going into um, the background details of YouTube stuff. But usually in Mario Kart videos, I usually in the past do... Like, for initially, I do one cup per video. But I want to actually 
not do that this time. But it's it's gonna be strange because in previous games, when I did that, I I had the thumbnail. I had a thumbnail for every course or track in the game, based on what CC I was through the game, which I might still be able to do do that kind of thing. I'm just thinking right now. Because there's also five CCs, which means I could actually get all the CCs that I, or the, all the level thumbnails that I don't have in everything. It's also gonna. I'm probably, I'm probably gonna be fine. There's lots of. There's gonna be times when I have to redo cups as well. There's a lot of. Um, a lot of different ways to go in this level, which is interesting. Because there's that shortcut there, you can go up or down on the uh, roof area just after the start. You can go up this wall, you could go on this down area. I feel like it's faster on the down area. There's also lots of dash pads here. Boost pads, I don't know. You can go through that shortcut there, or you can go around here. There's just so many different ways to go. Oh my goodness, Blue Shell. Making the... The... Cable cart. No, that's not the right name for it. I don't know what they're called. Uh, jump. I'm sure the people inside are fine. Anyway, jump over that. Or go across the bridge. There's just so many different things. There's also a boost pad over off the edge down here that I missed because I was going up. Anyway, let's take this shortcut if I can. This shortcut's harder to do in the faster sea seeds, so might as well use it now just to get used to it. You can also jump off of that to get down here again, which is probably not the best strategy, but it, it's a strategy, so... Jump. You can also get on top of the cars as well. Although I don't think that's helpful. Okay, get past you. And let's -a go. Oh yeah, it's the Ouija. Next race. Also, all the brands for all of the, the different things. Like, all the fake brands. It's really cool. Twisted Mansion. I feel like this is a, also a really cool level it, that really sticks out. Very um similar to Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart Wii, with these this first section with the wobbling everything. There's a shortcut there that we can't really take at this CC. Can't it's it's a it's a weird shortcut there, but I'm it's it's probably useful. Also, this underwater section is pretty cool. I feel like a haunted house is probably a good way to go with um, an anti-gravity mechanic. Drop it down depending on how you're feeling. The upper level, this 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 area is actually really hard to get through. Just there with the faster CCs. Just gonna drop that there. Drop those. The three bananas aren't going to be that helpful because they go around you instead of behind you, so you... Oh dear. I mean, you can still have them block things, but then there's... They leave gaps for things to actually hit you still. Drifting. I don't think drifting works very well just after being hit by things. You need to actually have some speed going before trying to drift. Please, let's go through this upper path. I 
Now, let's see if I can actually make this work, which I should be able to do. I will just have a lot more trouble with this on faster CCs. Don't get crushed by things. And let's go. Final lap. This is just a, such an easy CC. It's kind of sad just how easy this CC is. Such a beautiful game. Okay. Those turns there are going to be difficult later on. Okay, there goes my coins. At least there's no um, clouds items in this game. That was such a weird item because you had to actually hit somebody with it before it hit hits you, basically. Oh dear. There's also a lot less blue shells in this version, but I've still been hit a lot by blue shells already. But I think that's just because of how slow this CC is, so... Blue shells will be a lot less problematic later on. Same with every other item, actually. The game just gets a lot better when, the, when you're doing it faster. In the fast CCs. Shy Guy Falls. Probably one of the coolest levels. They're all cool. I like the crystals, I like the waterfalls, just... Love all of it. Let's go. Okay. Anti-gravity. Let me jump across here. And now... We actually get to go up the waterfall. Which, how that works, I don't know. Hover hoverboards don't work in water, after all. So, flying... Ho ho hover cars shouldn't work. Anti-gravity anti cars shouldn't be able to go on water. That's, that's how that works. <laughs> it's science. Definitely science. There's also some, like, water stuff on the ground in some of these places, but I don't think it actually does anything. Possibly? I'm like, not entirely sure about that. Also, there's a shortcut there that I've never seen before. And I don't know how to use that shortcut there. Have I not- have- how have I not seen that shortcut there? I feel like I should have seen that shortcut before. Maybe I've just not watched anyone use that shortcut. I want to see what that's about when I get back over to the end area. Also, in the uh, Wii U version of this game, there were some cups that only were available as DLC, and also some characters that were only playable as DLC. And I think some carts as well. But in the deluxe version, everything is available to you. Which is nice. So where's this shortcut? Where is it? Oh, it's right over here with these two things over here. Except I can't really do that in the CC with no helpful speed item. So I've, n I've never seen that shortcut there. Which is incredible. But I'm still not sure how helpful it is. And I'm not going to know how helpful it is until later on. Oh dear. Also, I love how the third lap makes the music go faster. That's a normal thing for Mario Kart, but I just love it. Maybe it's just because the music in this game is so good that I'm noticing it in this version right now. Go, 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 go. Missed that one? No, I didn't. Cool. Tight turn there. Go. You can also kind of hold up to hold on to the height a little bit longer, but yeah. This kind of slows you down as well. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that, but I guess I did. That's a problem I have with this game is I... Like, when I'm holding down the, the item button, I usually have my finger slip off of it. But there we go. 
and the blue shell didn't even didn't even get to me in time. <laughs> I love when it like still hits you after a race though. Just any item. But there we go. That was the flower cup. What was that sound? Just boom. It's probably going to be worth just skipping these after a while since they're all basically the same. Just with a different cup icon. And it's also just the Mario Kart TV of one of the races you just did. Oh my goodness, that blue show was far too perfectly timed for that video. Anyway, gold three stars. And we've got 60 coins, so we get a new vehicle customization. We'll have to look at that next time, though. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.